Mm, from what I hear, the TCS is doing its job. You know, a few new mutations popping up here and there, but nothing to worry about. I wonder what we'll do with the automatons after this. Simplest would be to eradicate them, like the Illuminate, but I don't know. Maybe we can put them to work in the mines, like we did with the cyborgs, huh? You ask me, I don't think the automatons are self-aware. I think someone built them and programmed them to hate freedom. Some new kind of alien, maybe. If I were a Helldiver, I think my favorite enemy to kill would be the bugs. It's gotta be real satisfying hearing them crunch under your boot. Oh, I can't wait to get home again. It's a little things you miss, you know? Like sitting in candlelight on Heroes Day, chanting with my family and renewing our vows of citizenship together. Hey there, Helldiver. I know you put your neck on the line for regular folks like me every day. It's not much, but I donate 15% of every one of my paychecks to the War Fund. It's the least I can do. You know, if it weren't for Super Earth, I couldn't even afford these high-tech tools I use every day. But they lease them out to me so I can do my job. Pretty low interest rate, too. Before I joined the service, I'd never left my home planet. Now I see a new planet almost every day. It makes me appreciate what a beautiful democracy it'll be once we finish stamping out those fascist bugs. I don't know how you do it, Helldiver. Facing off against monsters who haven't got a democratic bone in their body. If they even have bones. Flag-forsaken bots. They just won't accept freedom, no matter how hard we give it to them. I heard that some dissidents wanted us to select our own candidates instead of using the algorithm. <laughs> Great idea. Everyone will just become a political expert overnight. Treasonous morons. I earned a few more citizenship points the other day. All it took was reporting some unpatriotic talk I heard in the barracks. Now there's one less dissident, and I get one more doctor's visit every year. Democracy is kind of like these machines I work on. Needs regular maintenance to keep running smoothly. And the bugs are sort of like if bugs got into one of these machines. The only thing to do would be to exterminate them. Uh, I just set all the ship's clocks back an hour for freedom savings time. I'm gonna spend my extra hour doing another round of maintenance checks. It's nice, because today I won't have to work overtime to get them done. Nobody back home can believe I get to talk to Helldivers every day. I, mean, I don't blame them. All of us had Helldiver posters all over our bedrooms growing up. I still have to pinch myself sometimes. Whenever the war gets me down, I try to remember that at least I'm a free citizen. It's up to me how I serve Super Earth. Can't take that for granted. Back when I was a kid, we used to play bug killers out in the schoolyard. Whoever could kill the most bugs by the end of recess, won. Sometimes the teachers would join in too. It's fish fry night at the chow hall. I don't know what planets they get these fish from, and I don't care. It's all fried, and it's all good. As much as I hate the bugs, I hate dissidents even more. They were handed freedom and chose to spit in its face. Death is too good for them. If I were a Helldiver, I think my favorite enemy to kill would be the bots. I bet watching them spark and explode really lights up your freedom-loving heart. When I was a kid, I always loved All Heroes Eve. The adults would all dress up as bugs and ring our doorbells, and we'd have to fire three shots in the air and say, No fascism here, insects! At the end of the night, they'd reenact the Battle of Liberty Peak, and we'd all get cake. If I had all the super credits in the galaxy, I'd try to find some way to convince our enemies to embrace freedom. Maybe print a trillion pamphlets, or, or build a billion interplanetary radio stations, something to break through whatever propaganda they're feeding them. <sighs> it's just a pipe dream. We gotta kill them all. Helldiver! Every day you put yourself at risk to defend freedom and liberty, and I just want to say, thank you. Wonder which candidate will be selected for me in this upcoming election. I heard dissidents set another weapons factory on fire. They didn't take responsibility, of course. Tried to blame it on working conditions. Tell that to the 27 dead patriots and their families. Long ship deployments are great for saving up. You get the family separation bonus, which more than makes up for the bunk and chow fees. Of course, I don't qualify for the bonus since I haven't been approved yet, but once I am, I'll have a nice nest egg saved up. You know, sometimes, as a technician, you gotta realize when something's beyond repair. If it comes to these automatons, there's no fixing them. Only solution is to wipe the slate clean. If you ever run into any equipment issues, let me know. I've got your back. I'm hoping to raise my citizenship level by the time I retire. If I ever have kids, I'd want them to be able to purchase a small pet someday. Like a goldfish. Or a hamster. Back when I was a kid, the local loyalty officer would give us sweets for telling him what was going on with the adults around town. Things they were saying, where they were headed, that sort of stuff. Nice to look back and know you were helping keep everyone safe. Even if you didn't know it. Super Earth really is the best place to live in the entire galaxy, isn't it? Sometimes when I can't sleep, I imagine what it would be like to live there. 
I heard the Chow Hall got a shipment of purples in today. They're not my favorite fruit, personally, but it's nice just to have something different. When I need some motivation, I like to read the Helldiver ethos. Picks me right up. Sometimes I read too much and get overly motivated and kind of jittery and need to put it down. I remember when I was a kid, they sold stickers in the Freedom Catalog that were from these little squish bugs. You put them on the bottom of your boot and it, it was like you were squashing bugs every time you took a step. Everyone was collecting them, trying to get the rare ones. Man, those things were cool. I still remember filling out my very first Democratic preferences ballot. Whew, what a rush. Sometimes, I almost feel bad for our enemies, living without democracy. No say over their own lives, just believing whatever they're told. Sad. When I face Super Earth for the Vow of Allegiance every morning, I can almost always feel where it is, even in a brand new part of the galaxy.